craft beer is seen an insurgence of numbers of breweries and production facilities. And I think it's probably about time that we all get on the same page as far as health and safety is concerned. It's actually a very difficult question to answer. You have to be under a certain volume per year to be a craft brewery. It's an absolutely wonderful process. It's got a lot of history to it. And it's part science, part art, part craft. And it's all sort of melded into one. With larger employers, you have numerous number of workers and the expertise to actually focus in on health and safety issues. With smaller craft breweries, we're working with a skeleton crew, so a crew of about 15 individuals. When you take a look around at the people that work here, they genuinely want to be here. They're a very engaged workforce, but there's also a sense of creative license that we can take. So you end up with an industry with a lot of passionate brewers who understand how to make beer, but little background on health and safety and what kind of risks that could affect them and their workers. I've been in the industry a long time and yeah, there are a lot of hazards that are associated with the production of beer. And it's all about preventing and mitigating those hazards. Red Truck has a really good health and safety system. They communicated well to their workers in regards to the hazards, noise, heat, ergonomics definitely. Also about chemicals and the usage within the brewing process as well as cleaning tanks. But the two most concerning are confined spaces and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is used a lot within breweries. Some craft brewers actually use carbon dioxide to keep sterility within their tanks. Some of them actually bubble it through when bottling. Carbon dioxide is a major issue within craft breweries just because you can't see it, you can't smell it, um, but high levels can affect you. Our approach here is essentially everybody has a voice. If I see somebody without their glasses, it's a reminder. I expect the same from somebody else on the floor to me. So make sure that everybody has that at the back of their mind, that you know what, we can put out a good product, but we need to do it safely. I've been trying to grow one for about 15 years, and this is as far as I've gotten. Um, the craft beer and beard thing is also, it comes with a toque and skinny jeans and um, a flannel shirt, and I am not able to do any of those.